So, as you can see, at the start, this car, which is a new car, can be seen at private schools or supermarket. Yes, it's a 4x4, but the odds of this going off-road is slim. Some people do, but most don't. Anyway, I'd like you to introduce you to the new Life of the Birds daily driver for, for Rachel. So what have we got? We got our 322 model. It is a 4.2 V8 supercharged. Um, so yeah, she's um, she's not bad. She's a bit, she's a bit of an older girl, but it's the replacement for the Freelander. So we've gone up in the world a bit. Well, especially if that air suspension continues to work. Uh, I'll take you for a walk around. There are some ropey bits and bits that need to be improved, but overall, it's not too bad a car. Okay, so there is one lifesaver on this though this little puppy here LPG so which you probably can't hear me now because of the exhaust system which I am hopefully going to change back to original because it's a little bit much but it says it all really so um, yeah anyway let's jump in and uh, have a drive So here we are. Um, you would have seen in the previous vlog, if you watched it, we went to the zoo that we said that we've got a new car and we were gonna reveal it. And we are back in a Land Rover, as I've just mentioned. But instead of the Freelander, we've now got a Range Rover. Yeah, she's done mm, a couple of miles and ignore that light there. That's because of the different exhaust. Um, other than that, she's she's good I mean like I said there are bits that need to be replaced someone's wrapped bits in carbon fiber and made it look a little bit silly that is what makes this thing so easy to drive with LPG um, other than that I mean what's there to know it's a Vogue SE unbadged autobiography there's not a thing that this car hasn't got We've got, okay, we need to get a sat-nav CD. It's got phone, it's got everything. Are we going off-road? Not really, but let's have a look. We can see what we're doing with the suspension. It's got memory seats, it's got the lot. It's got heated seats, it's got, but, I guess there is one thing that we'd ask the little ones what they like best about this car. So, girls, what do you like best about the Range Rover? <laughs> the TVs so yeah um, it's perfect long journey vehicle really the girls can watch DVDs in the back if they want to we can just chill in the front in the massive armchairs that there are um, but as much as I like it I'm not gonna be seeing as much of this as I would like because it is actually your car. Mine. <laughs> so, what do you think of your new car? I love it. I like that it's got a bit of oomph about it when you want to have it, and then it's just nice, it's spacious, it's got loads of things that you need, and it is just a really nice drive. Do you miss a Freelander? No. I thought I would, but this is just the next... The next step up. Part, part of it. So, um, yeah, as I said, uh, You'll see these at private schools all over the country and you'll see them at everywhere. They're, they're, it's not a car that people can't have, it's just that people just talk about what's bad about them. You can talk about what's bad about everything if you look deep enough into it. So we are going to drive now, take it for a little drive. Um, we've had it for a, a couple of months now and yeah. yeah. We love it. We love it. It's been into Harwoods once but that was for them to do uh, something on it that had no, nothing wrong. If, it was recall. a factory recall that they just had to do because that's a factory recall. Um, and after their inspection, the car is in really good condition and really good health, as they put it. And they even said that they liked the sound of the exhaust. Some people might not. And I'll put 
a cold start in now. So you can imagine the neighbours might not be quite as happy with our choice of car and exhaust as we are. But anyway, this is our new car. You're going to see me doing bits and bobs to it and Rachel. Um, but let's see what this little girl can do as we drive her about. So. Hi. going if Rachel shows out the window past some houses that you would associate with raindrops uh, by a week. Drive back to our little place. But um, you might have heard a little bit there. One, the brakes scratching a little bit on the back. We know need to replace the rear brake pads um, but that's okay and two you probably heard what it sounds like which if I was to explain it in a way one when you go forwards it feels like you're pushing the world backwards and two I guess it feels like or sounds like Thor's hammer is smashing into the ground every time I put my foot down um, which some people might not like but any bike will ever tell you is loud exhaust save lives. So, just to give you a little bit of a, if I was to just touch the accelerator a little bit now, like, you, you get my point. And uh, so yeah, you can imagine what Rachel looks like doing the school run with that sound. But that said, this car is amazing. The drive position, awesome. The ride, awesome. The engine, awesome can't beat a V8 really can you we've been lately in a high pace yes it's fast but it's got no soul there's nothing to it um, but I'm just now blocking someone's driveway and waffling on a bit so I am going to I guess end it there is there anything that you want to say about your car um no have you said with well, the price of LPG LPG 79p some places 76 p a litre so yeah that's that's really good i guess there's one thing that we haven't said and that's subscribe please subscribe we're up to 250 subscribers now it's free unlike paying to drive a range rover about but that was our choice but your choice could be to click that subscribe button and really help us grow our channel uh like comment and if we get a hundred? Yeah. hundred likes on this will reveal how much we paid for our beautiful, slightly loud Range Rover. But I guess until next time, thanks for watching as always. And we will say, what do you want to say? Bye. <laughs> See ya.